Welcome, shall we observe the sun? Twilight. This CME model, shows the last plotted direction of a CME that occurred on the second, and it looks like the satellites BEPI, and Stereo A, gets a light dose of solar wind and radiation. There are six sunspot regions on the Earth-facing side of the Sun today. Up next is the interesting vortex, captured by amateur astronomer Alexander Galichek yesterday. Observed on this Lasco C2 filter is the solar activity from the 5th, to the 6th. A small CME can be seen erupting from the Sun at the 2 o'clock position. Then another at the 9 o'clock position. As Jupiter passes below the Sun in its orbit. This KP index, based on eight ground-based magnetometers around the world, shows a magnitude of five, three times on the fifth and once on the sixth. KP5 equals G1 on the G scale, which interprets as a minor storm. Frequency, 1700 per cycle. This model shows the aurora's intensity on the two poles of the Earth. On the fifth you can see areas of the aurora turn to a reddish hue when a G1, magnetic storm is taking place. Observed on this model, is the solar wind pressure on our magnetosphere today, which is moderately high, as waves of pressure can be seen. Shown here is a geoelectric field model of the United States. The geoelectric field is a measure of the induction hazard to artificial conductors, such as electrical power lines, that results from geomagnetic activity, and can be used to estimate the amount of current induced by integrating along the conducting pathway. The scale below shows the intensity, in megavolts, as seen as some areas above 10 megavolts at time. For you lunar lovers, the moon tonight will be in the waxing crescent phase. Illumination, 15%. This model shows thousands of man-made objects. 95% of them, space junk, occupy low Earth orbit. Each white dot in this image shows either a functioning satellite, an inactive satellite, or a piece of debris. Although the space near Earth looks crowded, each dot is much larger than the satellite or debris it represents. From 1960, to 2019 you can see the accumulation of clutter through the years. This is the position of the planets today. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you.